very humble goal in life, and that is to change the way the earth functions. And I truly, I truly believe that this can be done by nurturing the creativity in, it, in people. We already have a creative art studio where kids can do the art and they will continue to do that in the new setting. But I think it's the added element of doing it in the context of a museum with real live artists uh, that they can observe and interact with. For a city our size, uh, what we have is this opportunity through this building to serve an incredible amount of people who at this at this time don't have any ability to um, follow down a path of sort of you know something they may have started in high school something they may have started in college took a couple classes or or their kids they're really interested in their kids being able to to have one place to go to be able to to uh, experience art hands-on oh, so many people think product is everything in art but that's just like that's the end result. It's the process getting to that point is where the critical thinking skills come in. So they're going to go and they're going to feel the um, emotions from art that other painters, other sculptors, other um, well-known artists have done. And then they're going to go and hopefully emulate this in their own way and it's all going to connect. This family Kid Quest is so successful because of that. It's a free activity where parents can come um, and spend as much time as they like or as little time as they like doing an activity with their kids and then go home. And I'm hoping that the Center for Creativity will have more of those experiences. We're pretty excited about this space. Right across from here, we're going to have the walkway, the skyway, that where everyone will come through. And they'll immediately come into this project space, what we're calling the project space. And this project space is going to actually be a really a great space for experimentation and exhibitions. People like me will be able to come in and kind of share my experiences and my practices with people. Um, you know, it's exciting to make other people passionate about what you're passionate about. For, for years and years and years, I have, along with many other people, felt that the Creative Arts Studio um, would be so much more dynamic if it was a bigger part of the community. It's a whole different kind of community that gets, that gets created through that. And it's not always through the typical things that we think of community being built around. So that's the exciting part for me. And I just get, that just fires me up. <laughs> well, it gets them excited and if they're excited, they go home and tell their parents. And then it might excite the parents enough to actually go and do something different do a little risk taking, like for actually go to a museum. To see this turn into a, a, a community art center that's going to be for everyone is just thrilling. It's just so exciting. We hope that it'll take art and its meaning and what it does for the human soul and take it to a new level, a higher level. all of the things that we need actually um, to face the challenges of the 21st century. As I said, very humble. I have humble expectations.